What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of JM Exploring. Today we're going to be running you through our quick pitch ensuite setup, our shower setup and our toilet setup. I'll give you a quick uh, overview of the items that we use in regards to the shower and the toilet and then we'll jump into a more in-depth rundown on how to use them and uh, just how simple they really are to use. So first of all, we run a aqua heat shower from Companions. We're lucky enough to get our hands on one of them so it's new to the uh, to the household <laughs> on the Troopy. Um, so we're still testing it out, but so far it pumps out some heat and it's got great pressure. And then if we come over here, we got the Porta Potty 345, and that's what we use for our uh, toilet when it's required in certain national parks. And as you saw, we use the quick pitch on sweep, which is so simple to set up and pack away, it is ridiculous. So we'll jump into how the toilet works and what's involved in using it. Okay, we'll start with the Porta Potty 345. That's uh, what we've gone ahead and purchased for the trip. These are required in all different kinds of places to be self-sufficient. So that's why we store this in the car, even though it's not used that much. It's definitely come in handy in allowing us to get to certain spots and uh, in certain emergencies as well, it's definitely come in handy. So I'd highly recommend having one of these if you're going for a uh, long-term trip around Australia. It's pretty self-explanatory. You got your flusher, that works by a pump, Pull this lever open when you're ready to go. Close it when you're done, and it's uh, it's as easy as that. This bit here just comes straight off. With one little lever at the back, and you got your flush water on the top there. And the bottom compartment is the part you take to the dump point and get rid of all the waste. It takes 15 liters of flushing water, and it takes about 12 liters of waste on the bottom there. And it's also got a uh, indicator there, so you know when it's full. Smell side of things, there is no smell with the chemicals that are involved in using this. It's, it's really well sealed and built and a thought out product. So I'd highly recommend one of the uh, 345 water potties. We just use it in the ensuite on our risen piece of wood that we purchased from Bunnings and that just keeps it off the floor so you don't get mud or anything on it. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. And now we'll jump into the shower setup and I'll show you how that works. Okay, straight into the uh, Companions Aqua Heat Shower. Now it's a little beast of the thing and it's bloody compact. It is definitely performing since we've got it. It's been, uh, I think, a week and a half now and we're loving it. So it's so simple. You got your propane gas bottle at the back that screws straight in and you've got your dial, your on button, and your start for ignition. All you do is you chuck your pump, which we've got in the 10 litre bucket. Megan and I have got a pretty down packed to 10 litres now. The pump side of things goes onto the water inlet, and you plug your pump in, which is connected down there in the bucket, and you've got your outlet hose, which plugs nice and easily on there for your shower head. Now, all you do is you press the on button, and when you're ready to go, just press start. I can hear that igniting right now and it is ignit it, uh, it's ignited and I'll tell you when the water gets hot I think I've got it set to 34 degrees and the water's hot right now and honestly it is bloody brilliant after a long day's hiking or being in the salt water or whatever and it's just cooling down the sun's gone down and it honestly makes the biggest difference so yeah I can choose how hot I want it there it goes all the way up to 50 degrees and and yeah, that, that's how quick it is, guys. It's, it's quite ridiculous, isn't it? This one here is what we originally used and we will keep it. Uh, just sometimes when we're by a lake, you can just pump some water straight up into the shower head. Now that is another simple way and that's companions as well. Everything from companions seems to be pretty bloody good. Like our barbecue is just next level. Um, we'll, get, we'll get more in depth with that another time. But uh, we'll jump over to the ensuite now and I'll give you a little bit of a rundown of how that works. So we'll jump over. bit squeezed up in here but we'll do our best inside the ensuite we got our step on the floor there, there is actually plenty of room for one person in here when you are having a shower and toilet so the ensuite has got all adjustable uh, straps up there to adjust it to the height of your car and how high you want it off the ground we normally just have it a tiny bit off the ground so it's not um, rubbing against the floor not not much to show in here but uh, just to say while we're in here that the ensuite is well built it's done by a brand called quick pitch and Everything that I've used from Quick Pitch is just bloody brilliant. So, would highly recommend the ensuite from Quick Pitch. And as you saw at the start of the video, it's very easy to set up. And I'll show you now how quick it is to uh, pack away. And I'll show you that in two seconds. The gull wing allows us to keep all our soap in there. And uh, that's nice and simple once again to use. We're going to jump out now. I'm going to show you how quick it is to pack away. So, let's get out there. All right, guys, it is a bit windy out here. We're going to go ahead and pack it away and do our best. 
you just fold it up like that, nice and easy. Push that in. And it's simply rolled up like, like so. And you got two Velcro straps that uh, hold it together. You got the one on this side. And one on this side. And you just go ahead and zip her up. Alrighty guys, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, today's video wasn't that long, but we had enough questions to justify making the video. And uh, I hope I've given you some inspiration for your own build. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.